16-month-old Babarusa Tolo has spent his whole life with his mum, Sula. But that's about to change. Do you want to get your equipment ready and then we separate at the last minute, keep yeah, her exactly. calm? Yeah. yeah. The vet team has arrived to X-ray Sula's injured trotter. She will need to be sedated for the procedure and Tolo can't be around when it happens. The main concern would be that he becomes distressed. We're going to get her in there, kick him out, bring her into there. Good boy. When young piglets are separated from the mum, they do like a high-pitched squeal, and it's not nice to hear when he's in distress. <laughs> All right. It's OK. Good girl. Nice and steady. Once the anaesthetic takes effect, the team have to move quickly. If they wake up during an anaesthetic, it'll be completely alien to what they know. They panic, and in that panic, they can cause themselves some injury, and they can cause the people around them injury as well. Are you ready? OK. From the X-ray, the team tried to identify the cause of the swelling in Sula's toe. Looking OK? You see my arrow? Yeah. Little chip. So the second bone in the toe uh, has a chip in it, and that's probably what caused the lameness and the swelling originally. We can put her back in lateral. The vet inspects beneath the hoof. Do you think there's an infection? Yeah. We're approaching 30 minutes from darting. Time was ticking. The tissue was dead and he, he needed to remove that. We need 2 ml of Batril. If the infection is too deep, it could lead to complications. Next door, Tolo has remained remarkably calm. I think he was wondering where his mum was and he was looking, but he didn't react the way I thought he was going to react. Uh, we are approaching the 45 minute. Do you think it will be an amputation? No. There's live tissue down mm -hmm. there, so it should heal now, yep. or, but it takes a while. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Surgery is complete, and Sula will return to her son when she regains consciousness. Totally surprised me. He was fantastic. He didn't call out once, he was silent. He was, he was really calm. Sula will receive a course of antibiotics and her foot needs to remain mud free or she risks further infection. It's really important we try and keep it clean. That's obviously hard with pigs who love to mud wallow. Uh, so no mud baths with Tolo for a few weeks, I'm afraid. It's been three weeks since Babarusa mum Sula's operation. Her trotter has now healed, and after leaving mum's side for the duration of the procedure, Tolo is showing signs of maturity. He is coming of age, and he is getting a bit um, frisky. <laughs> His hormones are raging, and obviously he's developing into, you know, a male Babarusa uh, with one thing on his mind. So it's time for him to meet some other teenage Babarusa. We have triplets, which were born last year. Two girls and a boy. Hey, Tolo! Good boy. Oh, what's this? Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. He's not heavy. He's never been with any other Babarusa apart from his mum, so it will be a bit daunting for him. Boy. No for her. <laughs> hey guys, it's okay. He's going in with triplets who are all related, so 
hopefully um, they will treat him okay. So that's the triplets out. Come on, Tolo. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. Hello. All right, it's okay. He's just a bit nervous at the moment because it's a bit overwhelming for him. Tolo soon becomes curious about the females. Fourteen-month-old Nambo, in particular. When you put Barbarossa together, there'll be a, a, a bit of circling, a bit of sniffing each other. I don't think they're into looks all that much. They're more into the smell of them. Odor Barbarossa. But Nambo has a brother, and Tamini appears protective of his sister. Tamini is quite a boisterous, strong male. He's had to sort of fight his way with his, his two sisters, whereas Tolo was only a, a single piglet. He will be serious competition for, for Tolo. 